Scientific data are the foundation upon which fisheries management decisions are based. The Gulf of Mexico Fishery Management Council uses these data when formulating management measures that aim to end overfishing and rebuild fish stocks that are overfished, while providing the greatest benefit to the nation. One of the main goals of fisheries data collection is to figure out how many fish can be removed from a fish stock without harming the sustainability of that stock. This level of fishing, most often referred to as acceptable biological catch, is the harvest level that allows the maximum amount of fish to be taken from a stock without risk of compromising that stock's ability to sustain itself for years to come. It's a number that is used to set the upper limit on the range of potential annual total allowable catch limit. The acceptable biological catch for each fish stock is not constant. It fluctuates along with the size and health of the stock. A variety of factors influence the size, health, and catch limit for each stock. Factors such as its reproduction success from year to year, the weather, the health of the ecosystem, and the creation or destruction of habitat. Good fisheries management decisions hinge on data that are complex and difficult to obtain. Complicating matters is the overwhelming number of variables that exist, including tides, temperature, salinity, composition of the ocean floor, nutrients, and biological interactions among fish. Each of these variables plays an important role in shaping the fish population. The dynamic nature of fisheries and the continuous shifting of the acceptable biological catch for each stock mandates constant and thorough scientific monitoring to ensure that an accurate assessment of our fish stocks can lead to sound fisheries management. For more information, visit us at www.gulfcouncil.org.